And no matter what, you keep battling. There are battles going on in our lives everywhere. Some of them, you know, could be situational, circumstantial. We have battles going on in our families, in, in our communities, sometimes battles in our churches. There's definitely battles going on in our country. I mean, come on. But guys, battles are a part of life. They're going to happen. But the problem that we've done or the, or the things that we've done wrong is we've taken these battles and we've made them about people. I mean, it's just we're battling with this person and that person or, you know, we're picking fights with our spouses or with our kids or kids with their parents. And man, definitely down the political road. I mean, just think about it. We are each other's throats just simply because somebody calls themselves a Democrat and the other person calls himself a Republican. But guys, our battles are not against flesh and blood, and we have to stop making it about that. It is not about people. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, that our battles are with the darkness and the principalities of this world, basically saying our battles are with Satan, and he doesn't want to do anything anymore. You know, nothing makes him happier than to just divide us. That's how he conquers us. The Bible says that he comes to steal, kill, and destroy, and he's trying to do that in our lives and our relationships with God. He's trying to do that in our families, in our marriages, and definitely in our country. Guys, it's time to stand up. we got to fight. Fight for what matters. You need to fight for your marriages. You need to fight for your families. Fight for your relationships and definitely fight for your relationship with God. Now, there's going to be instances and circumstances where, you know what? Yeah, you stand up and, and you have a say and you stand up as a Christian or, or whatever and you say, you know what? This is my ground and I'm going to stand and I'm, we're throwing down. Also, going to be times where, like Jesus, where you turn the other cheek. See, that's not very fun where you're getting hurt. You're getting pounded, and God's just saying, it's okay, I got this. See, Jesus went through that. I believe Jesus stood up and fought when he had to fight. We know that he went into the temple and threw over the money-changing tables, and I have to believe that, you know what, there was a little bit of force behind that. But I also know there was a time where he did turn the cheek, and that's when he went to the cross. Because the Bible says he could have called 10,000 angels. He could have threw down in that moment and taken care of business, but he turned the other cheek and he turned the other cheek because of you and because of me. The greatest warrior, the greatest warrior fought the greatest battle ever, died for us so that we would get the opportunity to live with him forever. Now make no mistake about it, when he returns, he's not coming riding some little pony. He's coming as a warrior, riding that horse, coming for his church, for the people that he died for. Guys, battles are a part of life. We're going to have them. Pick the right causes to fight for and don't fight for the wrong ones because all that does is cause chaos, turmoil, and bad situations. But no matter what, you keep battling. The waters around you may be rocking. You maybe think you're caught and stuck and can't get to where it's peaceful and calm. But you keep your eyes focused on him and you keep that hammer down and you keep barreling forwards and you battle through the waves and you battle through the storms because eventually you'll find that peace that you're looking for. Don't quit. Don't quit. This has been a CPC Minute.